help others, our destiny will help us. Ladies and gentlemen, Namaskar and welcome. It's me Mahalakshmi. You are watching the Mahalakshmi show. Without wasting our time, I just want to welcome to our guest, IT engineer, Mr. Sarat Challa. Welcome to the Mahalakshmi show. Thank you. Thank you for having me here. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you again for inviting me over. So, Mr. Sarat, how you are doing during this COVID-19? Um, COVID-19 definitely had some impact, uh, both from a career-wise and personally too for me. Um, we were supposed to travel back home this year. We couldn't do that. And professionally too, um, I, I lost my job. So it has impacted me both personally and professionally. But uh, as things stand, life has to move on. So um, I'm just uh, taking it as it goes. Mr. Sir, your new project is coming soon, right? Can you tell us something about your new project, which is somehow part of social work as well? Yeah, thanks for asking that question. Um, so since uh, since I lost my job and, um, and also my travel got postponed and all those things, I saw a lot of people were getting impacted. I saw a lot of students not being able to get enough projects or internships and things like that. So I thought I'll do my my part in helping the community around. So as that, as part of that, we started a website called OrlandNRA.com, where we are collecting all the details about things which are happening regarding in the, within the community in the Orlando metro area, so that uh, people who got impacted and who couldn't who couldn't travel out or would uh, stay home, they know what's happening within the community, and if they require any help, there is a means to get that help too. So that's that's something which a new initiative which I've started off right now. So. Is it a commercial, non-profit, or community service uh, project? It's a community-oriented project. Um, I haven't thought of uh, commercializing or uh, or non-profit. I haven't thought of those parts yet. For now, I just want to get provide as as much help as I can to the community. I'll think about uh, profit motive or non-profit or things like that uh, once I see, uh, once I get to know what the community needs and whether it's even relevant to the community. I take a call based on that, but as of now, I have no thoughts on those parts yet. It's just a community initiative. By the way, Mr. Sarat, what is the motive behind doing this project? Um, so uh, for that, I just need to give a little bit of history about myself. Um, I moved to this country close to 18 years ago, and I knew practically nobody around here. Um, but I, the, I got so much love and so much support and everything else from this from all the communities around here. So I thought. Uh, when I get a chance, I should pay back the community some in some way, and this is my way of paying it back. Which is, I'll have to. So there's a lot more people who came here just like me without knowing anybody, and this is my way of letting them know that things exist here, so that they don't have to go through the same uh, trials like I did. So can you tell us what exactly your project does? Um, my project is primarily supposed to. Uh, let the community people in the community know where things are so for example uh, due to the covid situation lots of uh, grocery stores and restaurants have closed shop or reduced timings so this this is going to let them know what the new timings are and i was also thinking of possibly adding some ways of even getting things to people who are not in a position to go to the shops or restaurants to get those details but i haven't planned those things yet but i was just waiting for the community to tell me what they require and based on that, I will be adding those features to going forward. Do you have any plan to do marketing for your project? There is no big marketing plans per se, but uh, I did plan to uh, put the put the posters and things like that in uh, some of the frequently visited places, like some of the grocery stores around and restaurants around, so that people know that we exist. Um, at the same time, um, we have provided a contact us option within the, within the website uh, for them to tell us uh, what they require uh, within, from 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 the community from within the community, uh, and then go from there. So I haven't planned any big marketing push as such. I'm just taking it slow. So I think uh, for your project, you may need more information. So how you guys are gathering information? Um, as far as this, and that's a good question. So what we are doing out here is I have help with two of my friends. Um, one is Sunil, uh, who is who is presently in Orlando. And the other one is Jenna, who is my cousin who stays in Ohio. 
So Sunil, Sunil and me are going around and uh, calling, calling the restaurants and the other uh, business establishments around and asking them about their reduced timings and what are they providing to help people around the epidemic or not. And then get, consolidating all the information. And Jenna, who is in Ohio, is updating all the information for us. So between the three of us, uh, we are trying to keep uh, the websites uh, up to date as much as possible. And apart from that, uh, I'm also requesting the community through this message to help us be current if they know something that, should be, that we might have missed by using the contact us option and letting us know if we made a mistake anywhere so that we can get it corrected. So, how can people reach out to you? Um, so what the way we have done it is again uh, we have provided the contact option within the website. Apart from that, we have a email address set up called support at orlandnra.com through which they can reach out to us. Uh, we do have a Twitter and uh, Instagram page opened up too, which we have linked up in the website. But primarily, we expect people to reach out using the e their email and the website in the contact us forum within the website. For now, uh, we will keep adding things as we go along uh, based on the response we get from the community. Are you doing your own financial investment or are you sourcing uh, some other financial assistance? Um, as of now, uh, since I've just started as a community initiative, uh, I'm doing it out of my own, my own free will. I'm not like, expecting any external assistance just yet. Um, as things grow, uh, I will again uh, revert back to this and see if I require any assistance or not. But as of now, it's all going to be a personal expense from my own end. I'm not looking for any outside help. So, Mr. Sarath, due to pandemic coronavirus, people are so scared, panic, and stress. So, how your project will help people in this current situation? So, um, coming that's a good question because what I observed within the same within our within our own community. Just to take your own example, right? You are a reporter, okay? But uh, through this program, we are trying to say that okay. We have reporters within our own community. Just like you, uh, we have people who have unique talents. I have, like, in our office itself, we had a couple of people who could do a comedy and who could do sing, singing songs, and some of them could even do some dances too on top of it. So my idea is to reach out to some of those people and see if they are okay to put up some video for, for, pe for people to just uh, get a better feeling because of this pandemic. Everything is so very depressed just to get the spirits up. I was just going to request from people within the community to put out some videos so that others in the community can know of their talents and also feel a little bit less depressed given the situation around. So those are some of the ideas I have which I, which I want to do once this thing is done. So in a way, I want this website to be the place where people come to relax and also know that what's happening within their own community and also be think like, okay, you know what, this, not, this too shall pass. They should just have the feeling once again. And at the end of the day, they should all feel, you know what? We had a good feeling. That's the, that's the whole thing about this. Help others somehow in, in, in any way possible. So, I think we have already same kind of project in the market. Then, why people need to trust you? Um, there is no need for the beginning. But uh, there's a lot of things in the market. But what I've seen out there is, there is nothing targeting uh, just the Orlando metro area because I'm not going outside. I'm not like uh, many of them are nation by, nationwide or worldwide websites which just has Orlando as one place mark in there. So for me, Orlando is the only market I'm looking at. And whatever I'm trying to do, I'm trying to keep it within Orlando itself. So I'm trying to be mostly Orlando centric. So people who see many things within it know that this is being done by the community, by people within the community and for the community. So that's going to be my differentiation between others because I haven't seen anybody doing it from within Orlando yet. They've run from within other, other parts of Florida, but not Orlando. By the way, I think uh, for this project, you need time. So when will your project be launched in the market? Um, we have uh, already launched a, a beta version of this website, but we haven't marketed it yet out to people. Uh, we are updating information as as soon as we get it, and uh, and we are keep trying to keep it as up to date as possible. Um, so it's already out there, but we haven't let people know know about it, and we've been trying to get some feedback from people and update it accordingly. 
So you are doing something uh, good for community. So how can community support for the project? It's a community-based um, project. So the way the, the ways the community could help us out is by reaching out using our email address or the contact form which is out there. Email ad our email address is support at orlandnra.com. And there's a contact form too where people can provide their name and an email and also their feedback or comments with their, about the website. Uh, we will definitely be looking at all of them and in that way uh, we could provide uh, more information about what the community is looking for than just what we think the community needs. So that's that's one that's one way we expect the community to help us out in uh, keeping it current and also uh, getting information which the community is really looking for. Mr. Sarat, if somebody wants to contribute to your project, how can they be part of your project? my election for the question again um, I would like to reiterate the fact this is not my project I just want to state that this is our project and this is being done for the community so and and if there is any people out there who want to showcase their talents or who, which can benefit the community in any means possible uh, they are always welcome to shoot us an email through or, or use the contact us form within the uh, within the website so that we can reach out to them and we can see how uh, how we can uh, contribute and how we can cooperate with each other in putting the input in getting the information out or helping the community. So again, this is not mine, this is ours. I just want to reiterate the fact all over again that uh, this is a way for me helping the community which has given me a lot uh, in the last couple of years, in the, in the last many years, so many years I've been in US. This is my way of giving back to the community. So anybody who can help out, we're always welcome and we always appreciate all the all the help we can get from the community. Do you want to tell something to our audience? Uh, yes, definitely. Um, this is a community-based initiative, so it's always a two-way street. We can only capture so much of the information regarding the community by ourselves. There's a lot more things which we might not be aware of the community about the community, with with which we would definitely need help from the community about. And also, there's a lot more. There's many things that we could have missed, so we definitely need feedback from the community as to what they are looking for and what more we could provide to them and how we could provide to them. So if there is a way and if they can provide this information, we'll strive our best to get those details and and, uh, and help the community in, in all ways possible. Uh, Mr. Sarah, thank you very much for being a part of Mahalakshmi Show. I wish you all the best for your project. Thank you very much for watching the Mahalakshmi Show. Wherever you are, whatever you are doing, try to do best, try to be safe. When you go out, please wear masks. When you back home, wash your hand. Stay healthy and happy. Namaskar. Bye-bye.